Hello everyone, Stormy Strike here, and in this video, we're going to be going over the new 2020 regular run Briar models that have been revealed so far, and I'll also give my thoughts and opinions on them. There is a lot to go over, so let's just get right into it. First off is the Deluxe Animal Hospital. This is a cute little set with a white and blue little hospital with a mare and foal and some cute little farm animals as well. I don't really have too much to say about this one, although I do like the blue and white color scheme for the animal hospital. Next up for Stablemates is Deluxe Horse Collection, a collection of eight new Stablemates. A whole assortment of breeds and colors. There is a Pinto on the little thoroughbred mold a Buckskin Morgan, a really dark Bay Drafter, a Palomino Jumper, a Gray Sport Horse, a Bay Andalusian, and then lastly are the two models that I actually really like from this set, which is a Liver Chestnut Arabian on the new Arabian mold, and a Black Lipizzaner, or Lipizzan, Lipizzan, whatever, however you pronounce that name. But these are honestly the only two models from this set that I'm like, oh my gosh, I'd really like to have both of these guys. All the other models in the set are fine. They're, they're nice stable mates. I'm just personally, these two are my favorite, especially that little Arabian. I like this little Arabian mold a lot. Next is the Suncatcher Stable Mates Unicorns, which are five clearware stable mates. What's most exciting about this is that there appears to be a new mold that we've never seen before which is this little unicorn foal, and it's got its leg kicked up. And since Briar does do a lot of regular horse versions of these unicorn molds and stuff, I'm sure we'll eventually get a little regular horse version of this mold at some point. It appears to be a really cute little foal mold, and there definitely needs to be more Stablemate foal molds out there. It is pretty cool, these little clear unicorns, even just as is. I don't think you even have to paint these, and these look pretty cute. Now we get on to the classics. There's quite a lot of classics. First up is Birthday at the Barn. This isn't specifically for Briar's 70th anniversary, but I have a feeling they did it this year on purpose for that reason. What's interesting is that there is actually a mini Winnie foal in a miniature Briar box, which is something some collectors have done for a long time, is to make these little miniature Briar boxes for mini Winnies and then use them with the dolls and their Briar barns and things like that. Briar has clearly recognized that collectors like this, so they made their own. This is a cute set. I'm mostly just not a fan of this doll's face at all. They look very generic and Barbie-like. I really, really miss the older Briar dolls from like the 2010s and earlier, which looked a lot more realistic and less cartoony than the newer Briar dolls have been for the past several years. This is a really cute idea for a little playset, though. There is a classic unicorn called Solaris, I believe is how you would say that, and it is on the newer Drafter mold. The Mighty Muscle Drafter that came out this year is now a very pretty golden unicorn with some glittery mane and tail action. I think this guy is very cute. I know some people are getting sick of all the unicorns, but I think they're really cool and that Briar has been doing different things with them. None of their unicorns have been exactly the same. They've been, for the most part, they've been making all their unicorns different from each other and doing different colors and different styles and things like that. Then there is another unrealistic decorator model called High Tide. This is on the Malik mold that came out in 2019. It is a clearware inspired by the ocean with blue and silver hues, and it is also glossy. Surprisingly, I actually really like this model. I'm normally not a fan of the clearware briars. I've had some in the past, and I just never really got into them for some reason and ended up selling them. But this, this particular model, I'm really, really loving. Maybe it's just because of the whole ocean theme, and I love the ocean and ocean stuff. But this is a model I'm actually really excited about. I really like this coloring and the clear wear for this mold just kind of works. That mane and tail just look really cool for the ocean wave kind of theme. It reminds me of the Under the Sea Briar from Briarfest 2011, that special run. It reminds me of what that model should have been because that model is just way too green for my liking. But this model looks very, very blue, more like the ocean. And I just, I need to get this model. It's really pretty. 
Now we're going to be getting into some classic sets, which I don't really have much to say on because they're just not really for me. I do try to avoid collecting classics for the most part. There are, of course, a few exceptions. I can't possibly collect every briar, and unfortunately the classics are a line of models that I just can't get into collecting because I have too many models and not enough room and all of that stuff. So I don't have much to say on these models. They're cute classics, but they're just not for me personally. First is the Smooth Rider set, which is a Paso Fino Mare and Foal set. And this set is called Smooth Rider because gated horses like the Paso Finos are known for their smooth gates. Then there is Racing the Wind, a set of thoroughbreds, obviously called Racing the Wind because they're thoroughbreds. And then Spotted Wonders, a mare and foal set called Spotted Wonders because they are Nabs Troopers, which is a rare breed of horses with Appaloosa coloring. Now the last classic horse to show here is Fairfax Morgan, the 2020 Horse of the Year. This is the same mold that we saw in the JAH magazine for 2019, except the one we saw was a gray model with a white mane and tail. But looking at it here, it appears that that model we saw wasn't actually gray. It was just a black and white version of this 2020 Horse of the Year model. You can even see the pictures side by side here. It looks pretty like it's the same picture, they just desaturated the picture for the JH magazine, which is a little weird, and I'm a little sad because I was excited to see this Morgan in this really cool looking gray color, but it turns out that is actually not its coloring. But that's okay because this Silver Bay coloring is really nice on this model. This model is sculpted by Mindy Berg, and I think the color is just super great for him, suits him really well, and is just wonderful shading on his body. And his mane and tail also have a fun variety of color. Definitely a nice classic for the Horse of the Year series. Next is a classic camping adventure set. There is already a traditional camping set, but this one is for the Classic or Freedom series scale. This set has a doll, a camera, a tent, a sleeping bag, and a dog. Again, I am not a fan of these new Briar dolls. But it is a cute set, and it is cool that they're adding more play sets and things for the Classic series. Next is Natalie Cowgirl for the Classic or Freedom scale. Again, I'm not liking these dolls. Otherwise, I do like her hair and her outfit, and it comes with a rubber bridle and saddle for Classic horses. Now on to the traditionals, starting off big with a very big exciting product for 2020. This is the Briar 70th Anniversary Assortment. Why, Briar? Why did you have to do this to us? The 70th Anniversary Assortment has five different models, but they ship randomly, which means it's a surprise which model you're going to get. And one of these models is also considered a rare chase piece, which means that particular model is going to be harder to find. And of course, it's my favorite model from the set. I know there is mixed opinions on these models being done like this, being shipped randomly. I'm kind of in the middle about it. I do wish I could just pick the models that I want the most, but at the same time I think it is also kind of cool because in a way it brings that kind of fun and surprise to people that don't go to Briarfest for example, and they might get kind of a similar feeling to that surprise and excitement of when you open up a Briarfest surprise special run model at Briarfest. But then again, it's also like, ah, if you don't get the model you like, you're going to have to trade for the one you do like, or sell it, or buy one second hand that you like, and, you know, that's a whole mess. So I'm kind of on the fence of whether this is a really great and fun idea, or a just more headache-inducing idea of shipping these models randomly. But let's actually go in and talk about each of these five models. First up is the Fighting Stallion in a Chestnut Pinto. He is one that was also previewed in the JH Magazine for 2019. This guy is actually my personal least favorite of the bunch. While I do like this mold and I have a few of them, he's just not my favorite. He's still a cool looking model though and I like his Pinto pattern a lot. I especially like the little like flicks of white speckles on his belly. If you zoom in you can see the little speckles of white on his belly. So I really like that. And I don't think he's an ugly model by any means. He's just my least favorite of these five. The second model is the Indian Pony in Greylu Appaloosa. Or Grey, Greylua? Grey, I don't know. I don't know how to say that still, even though it's one of my favorite colors. 
This is a really cute model. I really like the Indian pony mold. She is just so adorable and sweet looking. I do think it's really weird that they're calling this a Greylou color. I'm sorry, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. But she looks just like a bay to me. I don't see any Greylou-ness of her at all. Her coloring is just straight up bay. So I'm kind of confused on why they're calling her that, unless maybe she looks very different in person than in this photo. And if she is more of that kind of greenish Greylou or grayish Greylou coloring in person, I would be really, really happy with her. Either way, though, she's just a cool-looking model. I like her. Next is the Andalusian Stallion in Shaded Gray, and I find this very strange because, come on, Briar, you had two dappled gray models on this mold for the surprise horse at Briarfest 2019. I mean, I can't complain. This is a very different dappled gray from those two Briarfest models, and I do actually really like this guy. His coloring is very, very pretty. It is a much more stark black and white kind of dappled gray compared to the more solid gray and rose gray of the two Briarfest models. I would be certainly happy with this guy. I do, I do like him a lot. I think his coloring is just very striking. Next is the Five Gator Saddlebred or the Hamilton mold from the 2019 Premier Club and a beautiful Palomino. And this guy was actually previewed in the Briar calendar. I don't believe I did a video on that, did I? I don't remember if I did a video on that model or not, but this guy was shown in a Briar calendar. And so this is what he's from. He is from the Briar 70th anniversary assortment. This is a pretty cool looking model. And it is exciting that we're getting a regular run of this mold so quickly. He just came out in last year, not even a full year ago. So it's pretty cool that he's already being put out as a regular run. It looks like his mane and tail are kind of a pearlescent color, and he does have some dapples in that Palomino coloring. And he is really great for this series because of the fact that he's like an updated version of the older Five Gator. Now lastly is the bonus rare chase piece, which is a Smarty Jones black and white pinto. And I say, why, Briar? Why do you have to do this to me? Of course, my favorite model out of these five is the one that is the rarest one. I love this black and white pinto coloring. It looks really cool. And this model has a really pretty blue eye. And I just really like this model. And of course, he's the one that's going to be hardest to get. For this Briar 70th anniversary assortment, these models also come with special boxes. Each one is different for each model, and they highlight the history of Briar. Something that's really cool that I forgot to mention about these as well is that these molds are actually representing different decades for Briar's history. So the Fighting Stallion is representing the 1950s and 60s. The Indian Pony is representing the 1970s and 80s. The Andalusian Stallion is representing the 1990s and 2000s. And then lastly, the Saddlebred is representing the 2010s and 2020s. And then the Chase piece isn't really representing anything. He's just, he's just kind of there. Although, of course, the back of his box also includes fun Briar history. Now, it is unclear if there is any limit for ordering these models. There isn't anything mentioned on the page about a limit on how many you can order. And since this seems to be considered a part of the regular run line, I wouldn't think there would be a limit, but we'll see, I guess, when these actually go on sale. This is definitely going to be a popular product for next year. Now let's go on to some regular run traditional horses. These guys are not a part of the Gambler's Choice 70th anniversary thing going on. These are just the regular, regular runs. First off, we have Favory Air something, Air Air Ariella, I guess. Gift set, Mare and Foal, and they are Lipizans. They are portrait models. This little foal is an adorable dark bay, and I actually really, really love this mare. I think this flea bitten gray looks really good on her for some reason, and I like these molds in general, so I think this is a set I'm definitely going to have to get at some point. They are super cute. Then there is another portrait model, Avatar's Jasmine, who is a dressage and inventing Morgan, and he even comes with his own blanket. His blanket is the classic blue and yellow briar colors, and says Avatar's Jasmine, versatile Morgan. 
So this guy is on the Flash Mold, and because for that reason, I will probably not be getting him, because I'm not a huge fan of the Flash Mold. I don't really collect him at all. But his coloring looks very nice. It looks like a very dark and rich coloring on his body. Next is a interesting new series for the regular run line called the Ideal Series. And the first model for this line is the American Quarter Horse on the Geronimo Mold. It says the Ideal Series pays homage to the artwork of renowned equine artist Oren Mixer and his famed Ideal Horse breed painting. Mixer's American Quarter Horse Ideal is still used by the American Quarter Horse Association and is known as the Mixer Horse. Here is a bigger picture of the artwork this model is based after. And I think this is just a really neat idea that this model is based after this artwork and that there will be more models in this series based after Mixer's paintings. It's hard to find high quality pictures of his paintings, but here are some Pintos he also painted and I bet there will be a Pinto done in this series. So far this is the only model in this series that has been announced, but I look forward to seeing what else they do. As for this model, he looks really nice. Slightly similar to that Geronimo that was an open show prize in 2018. Obviously not the same colors and different co main colors and such. But what I'm trying to say is that this new guy is a new and affordable alternative for those that wanted a solid color model on this mold. I think he looks very nice and I certainly wouldn't mind adding him to my collection. This next model was actually had a little sneak preview recently for Collector Club members in the Collector Club newsletter. This is a Sable Island horse on the Connemara Mare Mold. So this is pretty cool that this model is based after Canada's Sable Island, which is home to the feral Sable Island horse. This model has some very pretty coloring going on. Very dark, rich shading. It's kind of a shame we only get this one side of her, but I bet the other side of her is just as gorgeous. Now there is a portrait model set of two driving ponies called the Gangsters, Tony the Pony and Bugsy Maloney. These two are very cute little models. I especially like the one on the Glaciano. I don't know how you pronounce that name for that mold, but I especially like this guy. Super duper adorable. Another portrait model is Stingray, a world champion barrel horse. He is on the Wyatt mold and looks like a pretty nice model. I'm actually really curious to see this model in person because he has a very interesting marking slash coloration thing going on on his flank. I'm sure that is something to do after the real horse, some interesting marking the real horse has. So he looks like a pretty cool and interesting model. Now those are all the regular run models posted on Briar's website. There are two unicorns that are on the banner that were not included on any of these products shown. So I'm guessing these might be some future releases for 2020 maybe. There's a little blue and white Alborozo unicorn and then a Morgan unicorn with very teal minty Appaloosa coloring going on there. So I'll have to keep our eyes out to see if there's any word about what those guys are. There is one more model I have to show you in this video, but it is not a regular run model. This is another release for the Stablemates Club 2020 that has been revealed. This is Chroma on the Gypsy Cobb mold. Clearly a decorator, and it is also a clearware decorator. Again, I don't normally like clearware decorators, but I must admit I'm really liking this little model. I love the rainbow of colors going on, and that shimmery gold look on its side looks very pretty. I still haven't decided if I'm joining the club or not again next year, but they are certainly tempting me to. There is some news that needs to be caught up on about the Collector Club appreciation models for 2019, but I'll actually be going over those in another video very soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me in the comments below which of these new 2020 releases you're excited about. I know I'm really excited about the 70th anniversary assortment models, and surprisingly, that classic decorator High Tide. But let me know in the comments which models are your favorites. Thank you for watching. I hope you have an awesome day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone!